What's going on guys? So I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas, and I'm going to take a look at this really cool Forest River Impression compact fifth wheel. Now from the surface you might think that this thing's a half ton towable version and you know some people may convince themselves it is but in my opinion this is something that you would want either a high payload spec three quarter ton to carry or even a standardized one ton single rear wheel truck mainly because even though the gross vehicle weight rating on this trailer is relatively low you're still going to transfer a relatively high amount of pin weight to the truck so we'll talk about it more i'll be right back All right, so let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this unit's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 11,550 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 3,338 pounds. So it's got a pretty high cargo capacity. When everything's said and done, you're talking about an 8,000 pound dry weight, which is not what people generally pull these things around at. So let's just say it's around 10,000 pounds, you know, when the average person loads it up, you're gonna transfer probably about 2,000 pounds to the back of your truck, maybe even a little bit more than that, which means that you're likely going to be over the payload capacity of any half ton truck with just the weight of the pin box on the back of your truck. That's the reason why this isn't half ton towable in my opinion. This is something you'd put behind a three quarter ton truck. Anyways, so this has 15 inch E-rated tires, dual 5100 pound axles, which at you know 10,200 pounds almost meets the actual gross vehicle weight rating and I think that's a very practical axle size for a trailer of this weight, length, and height. Anyways guys, let's take a deeper look around this unit. This has has the Rhino Box pin box up front. This is essentially a lighter weight shortened pin box version that they offer for some of these smaller fifth wheels. I've actually seen this on some of the larger fifth wheels as well, but it's more of a compact pin box. You really have to take into consideration where the mount's going to be placed to use this pin box. Otherwise, if you just throw this on any fifth wheel, you might find your tailgate a little bit too close to the front of your fifth wheel. Let's take a look inside of here since it's already kind of hanging open. So they put your spare tire in here, which is very interesting. Has a single battery box up front. You're gonna have both your propane tanks on this side. They are 25 pound propane tanks. Convenient if you're gonna go to a gas station and get propane because they pretty much would drop right in. This is gonna be your basement storage area. One thing you will notice on units like this, and this is so they can shave weight, Look at the baggage doors, very thin baggage doors, about half the thickness of some of the other baggage doors I show you. And the reason for that again is to reduce weight. If you wanna get a fifth wheel that's capable of being towed by smaller trucks, you have to reduce the weight anywhere you can. And a three quarter ton towing a fifth wheel is actually a relatively small truck for a fifth wheel. With something like this, I'd recommend actually a gas powered three quarter ton simply because it's gonna give you the payload capacity you need to be able to haul the pin weight of this. You have all your connections in here. They probably could have made that a little bit cleaner. It's a good size pass through storage though, and it uses three inch thick aluminum bracing for the bath deck, which is really nice. Plus this trailer has auto leveling, something you may not have expected. You have a 50 amp connection here, but it looked like the cable in the storage was a 30 amp cable. So that's kind of interesting. This is the outside of your water heater, outside of your furnace. And what's also interesting is the tire that was inside of there was kind of a generic tire, but you have Goodyear Endurance tires on here as your main tires, which is really nice. Plus you can see how they've added a boxed section beneath the eight inch I-beam frame to raise the chassis up a little bit. Helps it tow behind some of these newer, taller trucks a little bit easier. Then you have a rack and pinion slide here coming around, but 100% sure there's not an upgraded equalizer. Nope, standard equalizer. Nice looking wheels though, but I do like the fact that they have the endurance tires on here. It does have the ground control auto leveling system. Again, something you might not often see on some of these lighter weight RVs. It does have a two inch receiver hitch on the back. That is for a cargo rack and not to tow a trailer. It does have a place to put your sewer hose right here though. That, so that's really cool. It's mounted underneath. LED lighting huge windows and it looks like it's running blackout blinds on the inside so that'll be really cool to see if it has nightshades. LED lighting up top plus it is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. That's your TV antenna coming off of that I'd imagine or your radio antenna. And you have a decent size awning on this side. 
This is gonna be interesting right here. You have your outside speakers, cable connection, power connection, and a compact little kitchen area. So you have a little two burner cooktop and a micro refrigerator here. And you can see that now they include Goodyear tires on these units, which are nitrogen filled. You can tell by the little green valve stem caps. Coming around, you can see they're starting to put these little things on here to let you know what their advantages are over others. Industry's largest AC unit standard, largest furnace standard, heated and enclosed access underbelly, 12 volt tank heater pads. You have a power disconnect switch. Has a nice storage area, plus a little area to pop the bottle caps off of your beer. All right, let's take a look inside this Forest River impression. See what kind of an impression it makes on us. Okay, so as we step inside of this unit, wow, this is really nice. You know, the color tones in here just instantly hit you. Very, very nice. This tends to be kind of the color scheme a lot of people end up painting the interior of their RV. So if you're looking for a unit that has a very, very light, fresh, airy tone to it, well, I think you've hit it with this unit and a relatively light fifth wheel that's also relatively short. So, you know, you could take this out to a lot of places that you can't fit a larger fifth wheel or travel trailer into. You have your new Furion 12 volt refrigerator, Furion TV, Furion fireplace, Furion soundbar. Let's open up this back window blind to see how much light we can let in. Very, very nice, large window. Nice size dinette, this is cool. Kind of like a little, little stool bench here and this opens up for additional storage. I like an ottoman that's very nice good size little couch here and that'll flip out into a bed as well check that out so that's cool how they match this little drawer underneath the oven to the oven itself again they've done a great job on the interior of this it looks very very nice a lot of the nice color tones that people are looking for in these newer units as well and check this out Bet you didn't expect this, because I didn't until I saw it. Whoa. Look at that. This is behind the entertainment center. This is crazy. Check that out. That is a ton of storage, and it's all kind of hidden storage as well. But that closes up right there. There's a magnet, and then you can latch it right there. That is super, super cool. And, you know, the only reason I even noticed it is because I saw the latch up top there. That is awesome. You have nice frosted glass doors here. Your Furion small microwave. A uh, reasonable amount of countertop space here. I mean, they probably could put a little flip-up thing right here if they wanted. Good size sink basin, though. It is pre-wired for 165-watt rigid solar panel. That's nice. All your controls right here. Stepping up to the front, here's going to be your bathroom. Nice size shower stall. You probably be upwards of about 6'3 to comfortably fit unless you stick your head in the skylight. You have a little storage basket up here. Nice little ventilation fan. Does have a porcelain toilet. And nice little vanity area with medicine cabinet. Plenty of room in front of the toilet as well. Probably three feet. They went with an interesting door color. Stepping up front into the bedroom area, you can see it has a really nice front windshield on it as well. Queen size bed, plenty of room on each side of the bed to get around it. That shouldn't be an issue at all. Again, I love the fact that they put these darkening shades on standard. That's really nice. Twin air conditioning units, one up front, one in the back. Here on the wall, you have your backer to mount your TV, plus your cable connections and everything there. And in here, you have washer and dryer prep. So very nice, you can actually fit a washer and dryer unit in here. This fifth wheel is very, very 
targeted towards folks who are looking for a more compact unit that they could stay in for you know quite an extended amount of time because it gives you the washer and dryer gives you all that storage in the living room gives you a nice master bedroom plus twin air conditioning units on a very very compact fifth wheel and again this is something that you could tow behind you know your typical three quarter ton truck Again, if you get it with a gas engine and not a diesel, you'll see payload capacities in the, you know, 3,050 range or the 4,000 pound range, depending on the gross vehicle weight rating of your truck. And, you know, you'd be in a really, really good position to tow something like this with that. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this tour. And again, I am at Explore USA here in Bernie, Texas. And if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.